What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Bear Necessity TCG, and today we're going to talk about grading. Not just any card grading, but AGS grading. I did my research, I looked at the top three graders, PSA, CGC, Beckett, and I didn't like any of their slabs. I didn't like their prices, their turnaround time, and all the shenanigans they're pulling, especially CGC. So, I'm thinking about going with AGS uh, for a couple of reasons. One, I think their slabs look pretty good. And two, I like the concept of the AI grading. Uh, AI is kind of the future in all sorts of things. So you take the human aspect out of grading a card, and I think you ha will have more consistent grading. So I didn't do any submissions yet, but I did go on eBay and I purchased three different uh, Gem Mint 10 AGS cards to feel the cases and see if this is the way that I want to go. So first up is going to be this Japanese energy. Now I got this for $18 and 51 cents. I paid a little more than what I wanted to, but I wanted to get my hands on a 10 uh, from AGS. And this was the first one that popped up. So from a distance, I really like the label. It has a little gold, the white. If I get a little closer, you'll see that it has that. I don't know if it's, I got to put it up close to my face real quick. Um, yeah, I don't know what that is as far as the texture behind there, but you know, from a distance, it looks really nice. The only thing that I don't like about this card specifically is the case is a little scratched up. Now, that's not AGS's fault. That's most likely from uh, the collector I bought it from. This didn't come protected with another uh, sleeve. So that's probably what happened there. And what's good is you have the QR code on the back of all the cards. Now, um, other graders do that, but we're gonna actually check to see why this card got a 10. So let's just fire up the iPad right here. And use the QR code. So it'll take us to the website. It'll take us to this specific card. Center that and make that look pretty. So this card did get a Gem Mint 10. It has a picture of the card. If you go down the actual population, so there's 15 of them as far as Gem Mint 10s, gives you all the card information on the right card type, Pokemon, the series set, release date, card and the owner so as far as the the owner goes i did reach out and ask them if i could change that and they said they're working on it but it ha got all four tens overall but if we go down it shows that we do have on the corners in the back a 9.9 .9. it shows more detailed population and it shows the actual card and why it got it. So if we zoom in here, let's get rid of that ad. If we zoom in here, it shows the centering of the card, the surface, and you can see that there's, you know, anytime you see a uh, that pinkish kind of kind of look on the card, that is gonna be the imperfections. So a little bit. Now, I don't see that on the card. When I'm looking at it, I don't really see, let me dust it off, make sure, not the best card to do this because the case got a little scratched up, but I'm not really seeing any imperfections here. So that's one good thing about the, uh, the AI grading. It sees stuff that we just can't see, but does it deserve, if we can't see it, does it deserve to get knocked down to a nine or an eight? I don't think so. If we can't see it, then that's a 10 to me. We keep moving on, it shows the edges. And along the edges, there's a little bit of, um, not damage, that's not the right word. It's just not perfect on the edges. But again, 
if we grab this and look at the edges as much as we can, I don't see it. No, I, I, I just see the edge of a card. Corners, um, corners looking good here, not too much to show. And then the centering. There's also pictures, if you click on the back, it'll show the back of the card. Centering, surface, edges. It looks like one of the edges is better than the other. But again, looking at this, you can't really tell. Just move this keyboard out of the way. I think that's all the, yeah, that's all the information you have in the card, but it's a lot better than the other grading companies have. The other ones, you get a number and they don't actually uh, show you why. So let's take a look at the other two. So the other two, just throw that in the background. The other two came shipped a little differently, a lot better. So it came in between two pieces of cardboard and it has a sleeve over it to protect the the case, a sleeve to protect the case that it's in. Uh, and it's redundant, but it is nice because this one, you don't see any of the scratches on there. So I picked this one up for $10.97. So under the cost of actually getting it graded. This is uh, about a dollar. I saw them going on eBay in raw, like raw form for a dollar. Um, but I thought this would be another good chance to see the quality of the slabs. And I'm glad I did because this one, you know, it did come a lot nicer than the other one. So let's scan this in and see what we have. All right. So this Pikachu, same thing, all the information. There's only three of them that have been uh, graded a 10. Uh, this one's showing a little less perfect. It's got more 9.7, 9.9 on centering and things like that. So let's take a look at the centering here. So again, with the naked eye and how other people are doing it, it's really hard to see the slight imperfections. You can tell when the card's totally unaligned, there's gonna to be tools you can use, but it a machine can do it so much better. As long as a human places this on the right location of the machine, clicks the button, and they plug in that algorithm that they use, they can detect just how center this is. Surface, we're not seeing anything. Ed oh, edges, going back to that, we have a little bit on the top. Nothing too crazy. And again, if we put it up to the camera, we're not seeing too much. So they really get into the slight imperfections of the card. And I love it. At first, I kind of hated it because I was thinking, oh, no, I can see it's not a real 10. But when you look at the card, you don't even see these imperfections. I mean, if you get a magnifying glass, maybe look at the edges on the back. So the back looks pretty flawless to me, but the actual scan shows there's some whitening all around the edges. Corners, a little bit of quarter damage, not much. So I am really liking the transparency. That's what they hype up. It's transparent as far as the grading process, we have one more card to go through, and this one was uh, packaged by far the best. So this is how it arrived. It was wrapped with tape and everything, but this is great. This packaging, and let me turn off the iPad for a second so we can see it a little better. This, all, all these are from eBay, by the way. This one, I paid $21.25 for, and a little, you know, thank you, appreciate the business. So they threw a card in here. We also have uh, some stickers that they included. 
which I think is just a nice little touch. They didn't have to do any of this, by the way. You know, this could be nice to throw on binders, um, just anything you want to decorate. Then came in this padded envelope. And even more protection in the padded envelope. There's even more bubble wrap. And a sleeve on top of the slab. Just perfect. I wish everyone would send cards that way. And I hope when I start shipping things out and selling them. Um, actually, I take that back. I don't I don't hope. Because I'm going to do it. I'm going to take a, um, a page out of their book and really package them up like that. So, oh, it came in a PSA sleeve over the AGS slab. So this person, this seller, must use PSA also. So another great looking card, like the gold borders, like the the just overall everything about it. They stack pretty well from what I'm seeing. You know, it's a little hard because they're in the um, they're in the the sleeves, so they're not perfectly stacking. But they would if they were out of them. So let's scan this one in too and check out how it looks. All right, this Flareon V for twenty one twenty five. I do think I overpaid for this, but um, I was just trying to track stuff down, and I I set the bid too high. Um, yeah, what can you do? <laughs> so population is two. The centering seems to be where it's lacking, both front and back. But all these say tens on the surface corners, so. I'm expecting not to see much of that the the pink lines uh, around the edges on this one. Got a couple 9.5s, a couple gem mints. Let's look at it. So here's the centering, and I don't know why it's upside down. They must have just scanned it upside down. But even to, I mean, it looks centered to me from a quick glance. But um, the computers don't lie. Surface, we got a couple little dots here and there. Well, now I'm confused a little bit. So it shows that, just flip it on this right side, there is some sort of whitening on the edges. And I guess I'm seeing it a little bit. If we look down right there where my fingernail is, just slightly, it's really, you know, it's hard to tell unless you're really looking at it. Corners looking good, just a few specks. Centering on the back looks almost right. Surface, we have the edges. If this was upside down, it's probably gonna be this top. And I don't see anything there. Corners are looking good. So the only thing that's throwing me off about this card is the, where is it? The edges. Because if you look back up here, the edges on the front are a 10. So while I do like the robot grading, I'm wondering what happened here why are the edges a 10 when there's that much whitening on that one side uh now i'm not saying it should be knocked down to eight or five or four but a 10 i think a 10 should have like a couple specs on there so i'm i'm questioning that well i do like the method i don't know when this was actually graded let's see if they let's see if they show that they have the release date, the population, the owner, but it doesn't show when it actually got graded. So 
I'm not sure if this slipped through the cracks somehow or what happened with those edges. But with that being said, I can't see it. So if I can't see it, it's not there. So <laughs> um, I still really like AGS and what it has to offer and everything it's it's trying to be. There is a space for another another um, grading company to be a contender. You know, a lot of those other grading companies, they started with sports cards and things like that. And not saying sports cards are bad, but we just have to look at it. Just because we've always been doing something for a long time. PSA has always been the, the go-to. Um, and then same with CGC for, for comics and things. And then Beckett, they're the go-to, so we have to do them. Uh, they only really have all that value because we put value into them. But I'm seeing AGS cards pop up a lot more. And while they're not as valuable as PSA, they are getting some traction. And I like the, the less human element it has. So I think that I'm going to, um, I'm going to go with them. I'm going to give them a shot. I'm going to do a, a submission you know, a smaller submission. I don't need to be submitting, you know, 20, 30, 40 cards. We're talking, I'm going to do maybe a test run. So I have a handful of cards that I'm going to be submitting. So the first one is going to be this Rainbow Lady, followed by this Lugia V, then this Radiant Blastoise, Mewtwo V-Star, the Galarian Slowking V, which this one I'm actually going to, I'm grading it to keep. So this will be the back um, as a display. I really like Slow Bro, Slow King, um, and Slow Poke. So that's going in the personal collection once I grade it. Then there's the Mimikyu V, and then the Mimikyu V Max that I'm going to get graded. Now, when I looked at this, I was trying to look at the back of all my cards because they are all, you know, pack fresh, went into sleeves. And the only one that has some slight damage that I can see, and I'm sure you can see it right now at the top, it's, you can see right there that the top edge has a little whitening there. And to me, that's not a 10. So I would be very surprised if this card came back as a uh, gem mint 10. I'm thinking 9.5 at most. But again, I'm not I'm not sure about the grading. I don't know if this would be what this would be and PSA, Beckett, you know, CGC. And I don't know what AGS's algorithm is going to be. But I'm going to submit it anyways because I'm curious to see how bad that shows up in the actual scans. But these, these all are going to go up for sale once I get the grading back. And then I'm kind of debating if I want to grade this Tinkaton because um, these are going for like five bucks on, on eBay. I don't know if they're going to run out from GameStop, but it's, it's why not? I'm, I'm, I don't know. We're trying to see. Uh, I know if they're going for $5 just raw, they'll probably go for a little more graded. Um, so that's a maybe. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards that I'm going to be submitting to them. And we'll see how that goes. So check back on this channel and we'll do kind of a reveal on the grades I got, the process, if it was worth it, and overall, you know, how much it cost. Uh, but if you like to get some of your cards graded from AGS, then I'll put my link in the description. It really does help me um, as far as this channel grow. And I'll also include the, they do a one card free. So that'll be right under it also. So if you want to try it out, you'll just have to pay for the shipping. The shipping is $14, but um, it's still cheaper than PSA. So <laughs> thanks for hanging out with me and I'll catch everyone next time.